Hello everyone, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial about tracing your pattern for embroidery onto your fabric using a light source. So you can use a bright window, which I have in front of me. You can use a light board, which I have over here, I'll show you. You can also use a computer or tablet screen. That way you don't even have to have a printer. You just use the screen, put your fabric over it and trace lightly. <laughs> I haven't done that method because I am paranoid that I'm going to hurt my screen. But if you are using the right tools, that, that can be a successful method as well. So this is my favorite way to get my patterns onto my fabric because the alternatives, um, I just, I don't want to get out my iron or I have other issues with the other methods. So when I can, this is what I do. Um, but the problem is, is it's only gonna work for fabrics where the light will shine through, right? So if you have a thicker fabric, like a felt, jean, whatever, you're gonna have to do something else. So I'm gonna follow up with another video, hopefully next week, whatever, um, showing you those methods. So um, there's like way too much to say about tracing <laughs> using light because there's so many different tools you can use. Um, so let me just tell you about them. Uh, some of them are going to be permanent. Some of them are not. So there's pros and cons there. If you're doing a kind of pattern where um, you're just drawing in details that are going to get covered by your stitches, it won't matter. you know. But if you are nervous about what you're tracing or you might need to make changes later, you're probably going to want to go with more of a, a non-permanent marking method. Um, and there's pros and cons with all those. So hopefully I can kind of touch on all of those. So um, let's see. We'll start here. <laughs> Here's a pencil. Um, it's a fake pencil with an awful eraser, which is why I pulled out a real eraser. Um, so depending on what color of fabric you have, though, you might not see this mark. Um, you will be able to see it on a light color. Um, and with something like this, a mechanical pencil, you're going to have a pretty sharp line. Um, and it's not going to be too dark, and you can always erase it. So that's nice. Also, if you're using something like organza, I know this is like super random, but um, I was playing around with the, that sheer fabric look. I found that pencil is really the only thing that works on here because when you get a pen, it the pen just immediately bleeds. Um... The moral of that story is sometimes you're just going to have to get your fabric, get your tools, and see what looks best. Um, so that's what I want to say about that. Let's see. So that's our pencil. But obviously if you do pencil on like a gray, you're not going to see it. So that's not going to work. So trial and error. Here's just a pen. I don't know where it came from. It's just a pen. Um, <laughs> so you don't need any super fancy tools. You don't have to buy this stuff. Oops, sorry. Um, but once again, this isn't going to wash out. So you're going to want to make sure you go nice and slow with your tracing um, and cover all your lines with your stitches. Okay. These two are probably my favorites. I have, I have packages here. Oh my gosh, I'm just running over everything. Here's what they look like in the package. So the blue one is Easy quilting, I don't know. I found it on Amazon. And then this disappearing one, this is actually um, air and water soluble. This one's from Dritz. So what I like, so this is this one's nice, but you can see that the tip isn't super thin. Um, let me mark on a corner here <laughs> so I don't ruin just a random piece of fabric. So here you can see a line. And then if I pull out this one, you see how much thinner that is? It's like night and day. Okay, so let me actually make sure you can see that. There's a big difference. Um, and for some really detailed work, this might be too thick of a line. I don't know. Depends on what you're doing. <laughs> um, one of the problems with this pen is that because it's water soluble, you're going to have to get your whole project wet when you're done to remove the lines. And I have found that if I just wet the section where there's the ink, 
you'll make like a halo of your ink. So you actually do need to wet the entire project, um, which might not be a problem, but it might be a problem. So I've done it when I used like hand dyed silk threads. Yeah, don't do that. I found out the hard way, which was very not smart of me. But there's some threads, even like red from uh, DMC, they recommend that, you know, if you're concerned, you should probably wash your threads because um, the ink can, uh, if it gets wet, it can, uh, it can dye your fabric basically and you get a halo and yeah, you don't want that. So, um, so yeah, especially with those hand dyed ones and that's okay. What you can do is just pre-wash them. You basically just give them a nice little bath just in water, lay them on a paper towel and then you see, is there any bleeding? If there is, repeat and put it on a new paper towel. Is there bleeding? No, then you're done. Um, rinse and repeat. Uh, so that's that. It's not the end of the world, but there might be other situations where you just you're, you just don't want to get it wet, so you wouldn't want to use this pen. This is kind of cool because it disappears not just with water, but in the air. Um, where I live, I mean, this line will be gone tomorrow. So it really depends on how fast you want to do your work. <laughs> so sometimes I'll keep one of these around and just kind of redo my lines as needed. Or what I actually really like to do is, um, and I've showed this in another video, is that I will trace my design and then I can, you know, fiddle with it. Like, let's say, oh, you know, I want it like thicker here. And so I can kind of get sketchy with this pen because this is going to disappear. Then go in with a more permanent option, whether it's just my whatever pen from the bank or like a, a Micron or whatever, you know, and I can trace my trace and um, be more confident in it. So that's what that's about. Okay, so if we move on, oh, and then once again, same thing with the colors. So like, this will look okay on these, but over here, here's my <laughs> my alternative. None of these options that I've talked about so far are gonna work on black, obviously. Light will go through this, and you can trace as much as you want, but the pen just isn't gonna show up. So uh, we'll get to those options, but um, once again, you got to look at a couple things when you're deciding which pen or pencil or whatever you want to use. Um, so here's the Pilot Frixion. Fri is it Frixion? Yeah, it is. There's two eyes in there. Uh, these come in different colors. Um, I hear the darker the color, the harder it is to get the ink out. So what's nice about these is that they are a fine tip. You can see that's pretty fine there, right? It's very similar to the my Aram in water soluble ink um, and it's kind of fun since there are different colors if you have different segments of your pattern that you want to differentiate so I think I got like six different colors in this pack um, and so you could you could do that you could have some segments green some segments purple whatever so that you don't have to think as much later um, and then to remove these lines you're going to either use an iron or a hair dryer these disappear with um, with heat. Isn't that fancy? And you could just, you know, use them as a pen. I don't think it, yeah, they don't actually erase off of, um, fabric, but I was like super impressed because I just used them to do some journaling and like tried their eraser and it really worked. Like amazing. Um, cause I don't know if you remember those like ghetto erasable pens back in school that just like made holes in your paper. Uh, uh these are like next generation. Um, so I have heard if you, if your work is like, if you're going to mail it to someone and it ends up like in a cold mail truck for some time, I don't know how long that time is, um, there is a possibility that the lines will show back up. So these make me a little bit nervous. Um, so that's what I know about that. But they, they can then be erased again with another shot of a hair dryer. So that's that. Moving on here, we have some more permanent options. Like I said, I like to use these in conjunction with my purple, purple uh, air soluble pen. Um, so whatever brand, this is just a random Zig. This is Zig brand. I have a lot of microns in my life though. So I just brought out these because there's different thicknesses of these, which is nice. So we can see here's a 005, which is very, very small. And then this one is an eight, which is bigger. 
um, and these are going to be permanent. So you want to make sure you don't mess up. <laughs> um, okay. And then I just have my good old ultra fine Sharpie, obviously permanent. I like this cause it definitely shows up on these darker colors. Um, and then he, over here I have, this is linen. And so sometimes, sometimes the pens don't work as well on like a more textured fabric. So I'll, I'll use my ultra fine Sharpie over here and like something like this, where you have almost a pattern, just the same thing. You just got to practice and, and see what, what shows up best. Um, so there's that. So that's if you can actually see these colors on your fabric. So now I'm going to show you this dark fabric. Let me organize myself a bit here. I've just got stuff every. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what the heck do you do with black? And black can look really cool. It can really make your design stand out. So we have two options. Let me grab the my packages here. So I have this, the Jelly Roll Bright White Ink, right on dark papers and add highlights from Sakura. They, I believe, are the, my friends that make the Micron, right? I thought, yeah. Ta-da! I like them, they're nice. Okay, so that's this guy, we'll try. And then this, I found on Amazon, this is like a, um, a chalk pen or I guess it's not a pen, it's just, just a chalk tool. <laughs> um, it's, okay, they call it a chalk pencil, extra fine mechanical chalk pencil. Um, so it's just another option. So we're gonna try both. So let me move my camera and I'll actually do some tracing for you. Hi, okay, so I'm over at my tracing table. My husband made me this nice light board for a dark fabric, like black. Um, a window probably isn't going to cut it, especially on a rainy day like today. So what I'm doing is I, I tape down my pattern and I have my fabric in this hoop because I have a hard time tracing my pattern onto the fabric when it's not tight because like the fabric can kind of warp, it can kind of slide around. So I like having it stretched in a hoop and then I'm turning it upside down so that it's like backwards is if you were looking at the hoop, it's upside down, I guess is a better word. So that when I actually am putting my, my hoop down, the fabric's touching the surface of my light board. Okay. So let's try these. So here's the jelly roll. Let me move this. I didn't do a great job centering. Here we go. Now you can see. Okay. So it's kind of tricky because I can't see where I've been and what I'm doing. Oh, and I forgot to mention the biggest difference between the jelly roll and the chalk pencil is the jelly roll is permanent. So I had to be very careful. <laughs> and then the chalk pencil has a little eraser on the back that actually does work. Alright, there's one. Maybe I'll just do one of each so I don't bore you guys to death. Alright, here's my pencil. Mm, yeah, I will do this one, I guess. Usually I get like super close to what I'm doing. I feel like I'm a mile away with this camera set up. It's too funny. Okay, let's see how we did. They look great. Oh my gosh, I love it. So this, oops. <laughs> awesome. This was the jelly roll. And this one here is the chalk. And let's see, can we really erase? Yeah, I just erased that little edge. I don't actually want to erase it, but 
put it back. Okay. Um, so there you go. This is pretty slick. So if you like to do, um, if you like to work on the black and need an option, it's, that's pretty slick. Okay. Well, that's all I know about tracing with light. Um, did I forget to say anything? Probably. Uh, if you have any other options, let me know. I would love to hear about them. I think, um, I love how people just find something that works for them and make it work. So use a combination, use something totally different. Um, but if you, if you want to see something else here, let me know and I will, I will add it. You could also, um, I know there's just like white colored pencils or other light colored yeah, other light colored pencils, but um, I just never have a pencil sharpener, so I like these instead. <laughs> There's my laziness at it again. Okay, um, well, I'll see you guys soon for another tutorial. Thanks for watching.